Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, we are still, it is still Saturday, and it is Saturday, June 13th, 2020. And I wanted to do a second video. Well, I wanted to show you where we were. With the, let's go over here, we'll show you with the wood first. And I want to kind of explain what I plan on doing here, okay? So, all right. So, we have three full rows of wood in here, which there's probably, um, you're looking at about nine face cord. Uh, so, it's about three rows per, uh, three face cord per row. So, we got three rows in there, so about nine face cord there. And then we have this here which I'm not even sure how much that is there. So, you know, if you kind of guesstimate it out, probably all together we got about 10 face cord already. So what I plan on doing, so those of you know what I'm, what I'm talking about here, um, when I get the new wood, I think what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side, from this end, I'm only going to bring it out to probably this level right here, okay? Because the reason instead of going all the way, I can come in here, I can come over this way first, okay, and access the wood, the oldest wood first. So I'm going to start there when I get the new wood and just bring the face cords out this way and I'll stack them all the way up again to the top, but I'll come over this way. And even if I end up butting up against that, that's not a big deal. And so, but they'll probably come out. To right about right there where that is so I can come in turn into here access the oldest wood first obviously I'm gonna leave that area open and then I will have all the other the new wood over here so as we use this through the winter this wood will be here so then like next year uh, you know if depending on how much we use and then get to give me a better indication exactly how much we use too which will be a good thing as well so we'll have the old wood first, or for next year, this wood would be then utilized first, and then we, we would restack over here with whatever wood we get for next year. So um, that's how we're going to do it. If the, I'm gonna, I'll be honest, if the 12-face cord don't fill us up, I will probably go ahead and buy more uh, just because I want to have overkill. I'd like to be able to just absolutely fill this thing right up. And uh, so that's going to be the game plan, is to fill it up as much as I possibly can. And so if I can get 22, 23 face cord in here, well, I figure we got the 10 here, I got 12 more coming. That's going to be 22 face cord right there. Once I have that in here, I'm going to kind of assess it, decide, do I want to get more? Because again, if I want to, um, you know, I do plan on putting the wood splitter back here uh, and also the... Um, the four-wheeler but I could still put more wood back here under the overhang if I want to so that is also an option as well so if I decide to get extra uh, you know then I can do that so and again it'll be out of the weather and uh, it'll be protected so you know that is uh, also a possibility I just got to see how much room the four-wheeler and the wood splitter take up first but uh, so that is going to be the game plan and uh, so, I mean, even if I wanted to, I could bring around the uh, wood splitter and probably pull it back into here if I wanted to. I still have it covered up, but at least it would be, it will open up this area. Because right now, the wood splitter is sitting over here, the four wheelers here. So I would like to have this area opened up, obviously. So that is kind of the game plan on that. So we're going to have to just see where we're at. But uh, so that's that's what's going on there. So we did get the rest of the wood stack today. I still have to grab those pallets out of there, which I will. But uh, I'm not going to make this pile any bigger over here until I decide to burn it down. Like Mike was putting stuff up here, and he was like, do you want me to just keep piling it on? I said, nah, just make another pile so we can add it on to there. So, long overdue, I wanted to show you what I got in the mail, okay? Um, for my birthday, Mountain Girl sent down um, from Maine. I have uh, one quart, 32 fluid ounces of pure Maine maple syrup. 
She also sent me this t-shirt. I'm going to open this up so you guys can see it. And that says Maine on there. Alright, and then she also sent me this, which I thought was very, very cool. Quality Motorcycle Original Harley Davidson. Enjoy the ride. I will probably put that up into um, the building where I keep my Harley. So I think that's where that's going to end up going. That's very cool. I like that a lot. I think that is awesome. Okay. Now, I can't remember the name, but I think it was Maria. So I, 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 I don't want to be wrong, and I apologize if I am wrong. Uh, she sent me some seeds. Uh, which these ones I'm going to end up growing uh, in the greenhouse. Okay, so she sent me a bunch of seeds. And then she sent me some very cool books. So I wanted to go over those. Uh, Herb Quarterly, okay. Mother Earth with Super Herbs, all right. Uh, Dr. Prepper, the Disaster Preparedness Guide to Home Remedies. That's very, very cool. I like that. This is also very cool. Natural Remedies. And remember, guys, I've talked about this a lot. Um, the more knowledge you have, the more power you have, realistically. Uh, the Country Doctor Handbook. Old-fashioned cures that pre prevent and reverse pain, obesity, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and more. Again, really, really good thing to have. Here's another one. Uh, healing remedies. All right. So a lot of different stuff that can be used to help promote healing. Um, Homestead DIY projects. There's Mother Earth News again. I always like Mother Earth News. Uh, compact plants. Mother Earth News again. More great information. So um, if it was Maria, which I believe was her first name, thank you so much. Um, that is awesome. I really truly appreciate that. That is like so so cool. Um, I'm really really happy to have those again. Uh, the more information that you have. The better you can be informed, the more you can help people, especially in a post-event. Uh, because in a post-event, I'm no longer a nurse. Now I'm going to be a doctor. So having different things that I can use to help heal people, I think it's really, really important to have that. And, uh, you know, having the different remedies and the information right there for you, I think that's a great thing to have. So I'm really, really happy to have that. And so thank you so much for all that. I do appreciate that. It was very, very cool for you to send all that stuff to me. And thank you very much, um, both of you, obviously. Uh, now, we ended up going down to Lowe's today, okay, because we have two uh, buildings, the battery room. And the, uh, uh, the um, hold on a second, got to make sure I'm going to show you the right color here. Um, the battery room and uh, the uh, woodshed need to be stained, or well, painted, okay? So this is a, it's a Valspar, one coat, exterior stain and sealer, all right? And the color we went to was, I don't know if you guys can see that right here amaretto so it's called toasted amaretto i hope you guys can see that it's the third one down in the second row so hopefully you guys can see so that's what color we went to um it's like a soft brown and uh you know it's kind of more of a natural color kind of like you know the um the house but it'll be you know and that way the woodshed and the battery room will be painted um, so we picked up a five gallon uh, can of that and hopefully that will be good to go on those two buildings and uh, so I'm kind of excited about that as well because then once they're painted then they're done <laughs> so uh, you know but we're getting there we're getting there things are coming together but uh, mom like loves to paint so she's like let's get paint we'll get going with the painting and I'm like we can do that so Anyway, so that's where we're at with that. Um, so, good day, productive day. Taking a trip out to get the, you know, go down to Lowe's to get stuff, you know, it's necessary, unfortunately. It's a pain as well, but uh, something that we need to have. Were you in the house stealing my beer? No. I think, I think you got a beer in your pocket. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> um. I looked with this flight and couldn't find it either. Yeah, I don't know where it is then, Mom. Maybe you took it. I think you might have taken it out of there. No. Because uh -uh. you were helping Jeannie, and I think you said you needed your bag. I think that's what happened. 
it's not at her house. Because it would have been on that side over there in the shop. Clean the basement. I mean, you know, we cleaned everything out. We didn't paint over there at all. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll we'll look some more. We'll have to get another roller tomorrow at the store. Well, we I mean, not a roller, but a handle. Right, it's right. Well, that's in there someplace. It's got to be. It's got to be. All right, well, I'll, I'll look again. So Mom is going to be spending the night tonight. It's supposed to be a chilly night, so she's already got all the windows closed up um, in my sister's house there. And so we got an extension cord running out so she has power. And uh, so there she goes. <laughs> Good old Mom. Um, anyway, so... Oh, I wanted to give you a count, a, f a final count on the day for chickens eggs. Uh, we ended up with 13 eggs today, so not bad at all. Good day for chicken eggs. Um, and even thick neck laid an egg today because we got a green egg. So she laid late today, which I was surprised because she's usually uh, first thing in the morning layer. And if she doesn't lay first thing in the morning, she don't usually lay. So, uh, but she, she did lay today. What I, I still have to do over here, guys, I just wanted to show you this real quick too. Um, I'm going to spread this out. Uh, I'm going to put use part of it for potatoes. So I don't know exactly where. I'm going to actually pull up all this, some of these greens out of here and give them to the birds. That's exactly what I'm going to do with those. But um, So I'm going to have to get this squared away more. I, I got some more potatoes that I want to throw in. and uh, So I'm going to do that and we'll get whatever we get out of them. That, that, it's going to be that type of situation. Um, I really do. I got to cut the grass, so I have, I have a few things that I have to do. So I, I have plenty to keep me busy, um, and uh, you know, like I said, we're just gonna keep banging things out, keep banging things out. So all the wood that we have on site is now stacked in the woodshed, uh, about ten face cord, and we are, you know, I have wood coming next week, like I said, and we'll get that stacked. So we'll be more than ready for winter at that point. Uh, if I decide I want a little bit more, I mean, I may end up adding another four face cord. I'm not sure yet. I got to see how it stacks up in there first, and we're going to just kind of go from there. But other than that, it's you know, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Um, I cannot wait to really go full th throttle where all of my focus and all of my attention is on this greenhouse. Um, it is going to happen, and uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be well, well worth it. And uh, so I'm kind of excited for that as well. So we're getting there. It's all it's all coming together. It, it all takes time, um, but it, it is amazing, guys. And I know I say it, and I always say it over and over and over again. But if you really, if you work methodically, a little bit every day, um, a little bit every day, before you know it, it's amazing how much you really do have done. And uh, you know, you make your list, beginning of the year. What projects are we doing this year? You know, and. Uh, if you reach those goals and you start checking them off the list, you know, then you figure out, like, we did not have raised beds on the on the schedule for this year. We did not. That kind of just kind of came up, and uh, I thought it was a good idea, and I liked the idea. Um, I still have to, it's another thing, I still have to fence in this whole area, which that will be happening as well, because I definitely do not want the cats using these as litter boxes, and, uh, you know, I don't want other animals coming in and helping themselves to our nice greenery so that's where we're at that's what's going on we're just going to keep plugging away at stuff but uh very productive day again i in my opinion any any day guys that you do something that gives you forward progress and i don't care if it's 15 minutes i don't care if it's a half an hour as long as you're doing something that's giving you forward progress you're accomplishing something so it's not a wasted day so again um just always try to do that forward momentum and just keep going uh, prepare to help yourselves. I think that's really important as well. I think people need to remember that we need to do that. We need to really be proactive and be ready to help ourselves. That's the important thing. Okay. So anyway, I am going to jump off of here for now. I will get this video up for you guys. Um, and I'm probably going to chill out the rest of the evening and, uh, I will see you all tomorrow. I will be live streaming tomorrow night at 8 PM. Uh, we'll be talking about, you know, who knows what yet? I have no idea what we're going to talk about yet, but we'll we'll pick a topic, and we will start with that topic. I'm not promising that we will talk about that topic the whole time because that never happens, 
but we will start with the topic, all right? Um, so anyway, I will see you all later. Remember, have a great night. I hope your weekend is going well. hope you guys are being safe. Remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from negativity, and you will be fine. Uh, negative people, misery loves comp company. Everybody's heard that saying. Stay with positive people, people that are going to propel you forward, people that are going to lift you up, not drag you down. Uh, people that drag you down, they're just miserable, unhappy people. There's no reason to be around those type of people. Okay? I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody's having a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And there's Mr. Buddy. Buddy. What are you doing? Miss Sox hears me calling. What? What's happening? Yeah. All right, guys. Bye.